thing is all about teaching and learning. And I think it's been a really exciting development for the college. Not least of all because we know from a huge body of evidence that observation of teaching and learning does nothing really to improve teaching and learning unless it's part of a bigger picture. So in doing um, this piece of work, this development for um, our colleagues in the College of Further Education, it's enabled them to be reflective practitioners, it's enabled them to test out, try new things, it's enabled them to really think and focus on their practice without a burden of a, a performance management observation. I think the most exciting aspect of the One Thing process was the fact that teachers took ownership of their professional development. We moved lesson observations as far away from performance management as we possibly could and focused entirely on professional development. The teachers chose their own one thing. They decided what they wanted to get out of the observed activity that took place. They self-assessed themselves at the start of the year to help inform their one thing choice. Then at the end of the academic year they self-assessed again to see the impact of their one thing. So it was all about the teachers and for me that was absolutely the most exciting part of the process. I am more than delighted with how it has gone. There were fundamental and whole scale changes that were made to the observation process. In fact we no longer call it an observation process. That is a very small part of the process. So it is now more about um, individual research, it's more about professional discussion and most importantly it's about colleagues supporting colleagues through professional conversations and completing research together and bouncing ideas off each other. My one thing was was use of technology for differentiation that's in terms of uh, pace, task, assessment and also access to resources. Well, my one thing this year, and I'd like to think of it as my one big thing, uh, is differentiation in my apprentice group. My one thing project was looking at how we could better get the students to engage with their study skills. My one thing, um, I concentrated on video feedback. My one thing this year was to look at plenaries. My one thing was to focus on equality and diversity language with my initial teacher trainees. My one thing was looking at how we deliver coding. Well, my one thing changed. I started with the idea of looking at open badges. The thing is, when I reinvestigated it, I kind of found that it actually appears to have stalled. Um, something I thought was going to be big really has not been taken forward so I then wanted to focus on something that I am a sufferer of which is um, CVD, colour vision deficiency and it's a daily issue for somebody working within the creative industries to have this um, hidden disability. In terms of the impact of what's actually happened I do actually think I've actually raised my game, I've, I've actually used technology far more effectively well, the good thing was it got me talking to colleagues. Uh, I spoke to a lot of colleagues about their experiences of differentiation. Uh, circumstances were different, uh, but looked into ILT, saw that as possibly a route to take. Um, a lot of online material needed to be put in place and needs to be put in place. It's a continual process, um, and that's what I'm working on at the moment. The process allowed me to revisit it and gave me the opportunity to have a look at what I'd done previously and how I could improve on the video feedback techniques um, for the Good Technology Further Education. It was really nice being able to do some research and uh, find some current thinking around what plenaries are. Um, and then for me, I realised actually within my practice I was doing it. I just wasn't really identifying it as a plenary. Um, so an activity that I would normally do actually was a really effective plenary. Um, and that realisation is something that's kind of changed the way I've taught because over the last five years it's always been something that I feel like I need to shoehorn in. And I also run out of time a lot, so I tend to be rehearsing and I use all of my minutes and then kind of go, oh, quickly do this or I'll do the, put something on classroom. Um, but actually being able to go, no, there's something really valuable in what I'm doing and I can identify it now as a plenary has been really 
useful for me and something that's definitely going to help me moving forward. So we looked at the gamification of education. So I did some research looking at different platforms that are available that use gameplay to teach the aspects of coding concepts, syntax, that kind of thing. And we gave the students the opportunity to work at their own pace and then get their feedback at the end of the session to see how they thought it went. Um, well, I started off, I, I thought it was about behaviour, but I ended up realising it was about engagement and motivation. Um, so, being a librarian, I started by looking at books, I also looked at uh, websites, and what I found was that everyone pretty much agreed that um, embedding the skills within vocational areas was a way better way of going about things than what we've been doing, which was pulling it out and doing it separately. It's going to impact every single full-time student at college and probably a lot of other students as well because I've created a suite of resources for staff members to use to adapt to their vocational area and the idea is that every single full-time student will have those resources over the course of next year. What I found was some really good apps. Um, and they've developed um, very much over the last year or so since I, I, I looked at it. It affects one in 10 males and one in 200 females. Chris Torrowed uh, as my helper on the one thing um, process and he's um, a painter and decorator so his, his environment is all about colour and I was able to show him this app and it was an absolute moment of epiphany for him because it's just, this is just unbelievable, it's just amazing. He saw what I saw and he's going, it radically changed the way that he saw my um, hidden disability. The outcome I wanted from this was an easy way that we could or people could experience this which opens then a dialogue with your students or other staff actually about dealing with hidden disabilities or an awareness of it. In terms of what the future holds for The One Thing, we received lots of encouraging and constructive feedback from teachers about how we can adapt the process in the future. So already the model is developing in a really positive way. I'm also excited about how versatile the process is and actually next year we're planning to roll out a pilot scheme working with a team of administrators at the college. We're also looking at doing something very similar with our learning support assistants. So it's not just for teachers, the one thing soon will be for everyone.